Well, let's start off the show in Tanzania, where President John Magufuli has ordered all cashew nut auctions in the country closed. The Tanzanian leader says that the government will buy the crop from farmers at a 10% premium. Now, this translates to $1.45 per kilogram, compared with the reserve price of $1.31 set by the government for the auctions. The order comes after President Magufuli replaced his agriculture and trade ministers, saying that they had failed to protect farmers from exploitation. Traders have previously boycotted the auctions and ins insisted on paying 67 cents per kilogram. Now, farmers have said the money is insufficient to cover their costs. Of course, cashew nuts are the nation's leading agricultural export by value. They earned about 340.9 million U.S. dollars in the year through March 2017. Well, let's get an update from Daniel Kijo. He joins us now in Dar es Salaam. Daniel, welcome to the show. Tell us, Daniel, what happens now that uh, President Magufuli has ordered all cashew auctions in the country closed as well as dissolving the industry governing board? Are we going to see the government taking over, buying the crop from farmers going forward? Hi, Uche. Uh, yes, the, the president is very serious regarding the cashew industry. He said the government interest is to ensure that farmers gain profit for their crops and ensure that uh, the cashew nut exports uh, are not affected. He today, now to show his seriousness, stripped uh, recently the Minister of Agriculture and also fired the Minister of Trade and Industry of their role. Today was a deadline that the president had issues to traders to, to purchase the, the product at uh, $1.3 per kilo. Now, there was a swearing in of a newly appointed ministers to where the president announced that the government will be purchasing all the cash units in the countries and that now the president also requested Tanzanian Agricultural Development Bank to ensure that payments for the crops at the said price of $1.3 are paid to the farmers. He asked now the, the army to interfere. Now soldiers will immediately start uh, storing the, the purchased crop and also they will support to make sure the farmers are paid. He also gave orders to a processing plant called uh, Buko, which is located in Lindi region, to be handed over to soldiers so that the pro uh, processing of the purchased crop can begin. The factory was recently seized by the government after the owner uh, has, had failed to run it. It has a capacity of processing about 20,000 tons of cashew nut a year. He indicated that for the various boards that manage different crops, that they should watch their performance. And he also asked uh, for uh, the Tanzania Investment Center to start looking for uh, other investors to come into the sector so he clearly wants to sort of revitalize the product but as we know now he, he he's using the army to now process the the, 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 the government purchased product uh, and that they will decide on how to sell it uh, ex externally mm. well Daniel Tanzania is actually one of the world's largest growers of cashew nuts it, it is also the most valuable of the country's export uh, crops give us a sense of how this issue around prices which of course is not new for the country has impacted the sector Well, Uche, experts in the s sector suggest that it might be a bit too early to really see impacts of, of this decision. But what we know, as you said, is that cashew nut exports are Tanzania's biggest source of uh, foreign currency. Um, you know, this standoff between farmers, traders, and even the government can have significant economic <coughs> ramifications. Uh, the Tanzania cashew nut uh, export provide 10 to 15 percent of the country's foreign exchange. It is the eighth largest grow of cashew nuts in the world, the fourth in Africa, and more than 90 percent of these exports are, are exported to India. Uh, almost in most of or most of the time, uh, the big percent of the exports are in their raw form. Now, the lack of uh, domestic processing firm are costing the country vital foreign exchange and thousands of jobs. Now, the government has been facing challenges for a long time in fighting potential investors to revive this industry, which historically had been very strong in the early 60s and 70s. Well, many thanks, Daniel, for that update. Of course, Daniel Kijo joining us there in Dar es Salaam. Well,